No, I don't waste no time. So guys, welcome to a new video. For those of you that are new to the channel and do not know who I am, my name is Joshua Daniel George, a social media marketer, and I also have my own education business where I teach you guys uh, social media marketing. So I have my own agency called Brandpreneur here in the Netherlands, uh, where I'm currently based, and then I also teach you guys on how to do the same. So how to start your own agency, how to get your first client, how to automate it, scale it, so that you too can live life on your own terms. And in this lesson, I am going to basically explain to you all you need to know on how to go from zero to 10K a month with SMMA, okay? So the reason why I picked this um, topic, um, obviously I do have a content team that writes out all the topics for me, but the reason why um, I wanted to bring out this video is because, in my opinion, I think the biggest shift happens at the start, okay? There's a lot of ways and methods that you need to change in order to actually become the social media marketing agency owner because a lot of you when starting out including myself um we've never owned a business before this is our first actual business uh, fun fact i actually had an online business before this uh, called JD Fitness, where I gave out fitness advice and fitness coaching, and this obviously uh, horribly failed. Well, not horribly, but um, you know, it's something that didn't end up being as profitable as I anticipated, as, as I hoped. So um, I basically moved over to social media marketing about four years ago now, and um, like I said, it was my first real business. It allowed me to quit my job. Um, you know, it's provided me with the possibilities of uh, investing into real estate. Uh, traveling the world, meeting, you know, literally the most inspiring people, uh, etc. And uh, like I said, that shift in mindset, in character traits, and everything all happened in, you know, basically the first part of me building the agency. So from going to uh, zero to six figures. Okay, so without rambling on too much, uh, let's hop into it. And basically, there are three major takeaway points from this video. So make sure you do stick stick around, uh, because like I said, you know, there are three points uh, that we're going to be discussing today. And the first one is mindset. And before you guys think, oh no, not another mindset video, not another write down your affirmations video and click away, you know, just please bear with me just for a moment here, because I do think that the mindset part is uh, quite important. Is this my no, it's not. I thought that was my mouse there, but it's not. This is my mouse. Okay. So anyway, mindset, like I said, the reason why mindset is, because I obviously created these slides myself, um, the reason why I think mindset is number one is because I think that the mindset part is something that will hold you back if it's not on point, okay? Now, when I look at my coaching program and the coaching students in the program, um, you know, there are a few people that um, are basically sticking out above the rest. You know, these are people that um, even though they have the same information as everyone else, everyone is doing well, everyone's getting clients, but there are a few individuals that are literally just head and shoulders above the rest. And in my opinion, I think it's got a lot to do with the mindset part of it because these people have a burning desire to uh, ex you know, succeed you know, if you want to quote, uh, think and grow rich, they have a burning desire, they have a goal, you know, next to basically, obviously scale an agency, etc. But they have another goal. And that goal has basically given them the intrinsic motivation to go after this. Okay, and this could be anything for you, you know, it can be that you want to, um, you know, buy real estate, it can be that you want to move out, it can be that you want to uh, retire, a, a parent or family member it can be that you want to pay off debts that you have etc okay anything like this will obviously put you in the right frame of mind and create that bear and desire to actually go out and get after it as opposed to for example someone that has uh, just finished university and is looking into an online business model and hasn't really got that bear and desire that age um you know basically to go after it and go out and get it Okay, and for me, obviously, no, let's just quickly focus on this little graph here because obviously I've been on the slides for a while now. On the left-hand side, you've got uh, fulfillment and then on the uh, horizontal axis, basically, you've got the money spent. And as you can see here, you know, obviously, when you've got no money, the first 
phase is obviously survival. You know, you need to make sure that, um, you know, you can cover your costs, you've got a roof above your head, etc. And from there, you know, as soon as you have all your costs covered, then obviously you're looking to comfort. You can make sure that, yes, the costs are covered, but am I enjoying it, etc. Then, you know, as soon as you basically surpass that phase, you can look into the luxuries phase. You know, you can basically splurge a little, maybe get yourself a gift or a, um, I don't know, a piece of technology that you've always wanted, a new laptop, etc., a Rolex, if you, uh, if that is what you're into. And then, as you can see, there is a curve where more money does not equal more happiness or more fulfillment because, you know, as soon as all of your basic needs are met, from that point onwards, having more stuff, you know, having more... Uh, materialistic possessions won't necessarily equal more happiness and uh, this is also the reason why for example Alex Becker for those who that, uh, know who he is and follow his uh, journey and story as well he's literally sold all of his possessions and he lives in obviously an amazing apartment with an amazing view but the apartment is almost empty and he calls himself the most woke empty house business owner on YouTube and the reason why he sold all of his possessions is because he, he says that this basically gives him more freedom because he says that materialistic possessions will hold you down because the more stuff you have, the more stuff you want and you're not necessarily free because you're basically bound to materialistic stuff and he has now sold all of his stuff to basically have that freedom and have nothing weighing him down, etc. Now he's got the freedom to also take risks because he knows that he hasn't got a big mansion or a car that he needs to pay off, etc. So uh, all of his costs are covered so he's he basically survival is covered um he's got all of the, the 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 basic comfort needs you know he's got food in his fridge he's got a desk that he can work on etc so uh basically from that point onwards he's got a few luxuries as well but other than that that is all he has got okay and that is always he's sticking at so he can focus on his agency now what i think in my opinion the biggest mindset shifts happens here Okay, at the start of uh, the spectrum, basically. So as soon as you start off with your agency, you are obviously at the bottom here. The first goal is survival. Some of you will um, you know, basically attempt to quit their job by uh, basically equaling the income from their regular job with a agency client. Some of you will take a little bit more risk and actually quit their job in order to make their agency happen, etc. So the first part obviously is survival. And in order to break out of survival and go into the comfort stage, you will need a massive mindset shift because things will happen. Things will go wrong. You know, um, there are always things that go wrong. You will 100% guaranteed lose your first client. And I don't mean to be, you know, a downer on this or to basically, um, you know, demotivate you from actually achieving this, but you will not be the perfect agency owner from day one. You will need to learn and you will need to discover over time how to get results. How to I just want to quickly interrupt this video and basically mention to you guys that I have a free social media marketing course and you can literally download this course if you are subscribed to my YouTube channel. So basically what I've done is I have created a custom audience with Google Ads. Uh, for those of you that are subscribed to my channel and you guys will see a pre-roll advertisement on one of my videos where I basically give you the direct link to download this course. So it's an unpublished link on Teachable which you will only see if you are subscribed to my channel. So if you want a free social media marketing course, all you need to do is subscribe to my channel and then you will see my advertisements. So without further ado, let's hop back into the video. How to manage client expectations, how to deal with clients that are a pain or a client that has too high expectations, how to you know, uh, manage getting results and manage uh, running a business, etc. Because for a lot of you, like I said, you know, this is the first actual business that you will be starting. And yes, there are a lot of uh, air money online gurus uh, that basically preach that this is the easiest business model. And I have lack of mentioned in a few other videos, you know, the business model is simple, but that does not necessarily make it easy. You know, you will need to put in the work. And for a lot of you, you know, that will uh, be something that you will need to sort of um, get used to, you know, um, when you are starting your own business, as opposed to a nine to five job where you can just clock out at five and watch Netflix all night, you will need to put, you know, a few extra hours in, in the evening, you will need to put systems in place, you will need to work hard to get the first client. And, you know, things will happen, as you can see here, the shifts are that you are a business owner. And that means that 
uh, well, first of all, when you are talking to clients, you are equal to them. Because a, a big limit and belief that a lot of uh, younger aspiring social media agency owners have is that they won't be taken serious. But you are just speaking to an equal because the person that you have on the line, on the phone or on Zoom is also a business owner. So you're on the same playing field. It's literally a business owner speaking to another business owner and basically seeing if they can uh, provide value for each other. Obviously, there's a monetary value for you. You know, you will get money in exchange for a uh, basically a value-based service that you are providing, Facebook advertising, okay? So you need to understand that in terms of uh, where you are, you are on the same playing field as these, as these other business owners, okay? You own, an agency, uh, you own a business yourself, okay? So understand that um, people will take you serious because you own an agency. And yes, it might not be as big as the company you are speaking to, but still, they will provide you with enough respect. And you just need to believe in yourself that, yes, you have something that is of value to them because you know Facebook ads, you know social media, you know social media marketing, you know how to set up funnels and systems in place to earn them more money. So they might actually be nervous speaking to you because they know that they're going to have to pay for an expert to come in and fix a problem that they've got, okay? So just think of it that way. They might actually be more nervous to speak to you than vice versa. And as I say here, you will need to put in the work. You know, it is a legitimate business, a service-based business, business-to-business, um, you know, business model. I've said business a lot of times here, B2B, you know, um, service that you are providing. And in order to get this off the ground, you will need to put in the work, okay? You will not get rich overnight. Yes, you can land a client uh, in a very short period of time but you will need to put in the time and in the effort. And yes, you will fail often. Like I said, you will most likely lose your first client. You most likely will uh, not have the most efficient system to get that client on in the first place. You might not get the highest return on investment for the client in month one and so on and so forth, okay? You will fail often, but in my opinion, if you fail forward, you know, that is even better than winning right away because you will not learn from winning, but you do learn from losing. So if you fail you will learn from it and you'll be much, much more uh, experienced and you'll be much better off because of that failure, okay? And in my opinion, it's not failure. It's a learning, uh, let's see a learning curve. You know, you've learned from it. So either you win or you learn. You don't actually fail, okay? And things will not go your way. There will always be times where you have a client that demands too much. You have a client that asks for a refund. You have a client that cannot deal with the fact that he needs to wait and it's not overnight success. You will notice that a payment might not come through or uh, you you literally just mess up, okay? You set up the wrong ad at the wrong time. The client asks you to set up an ad for Father's Day or Mother's Day or whatever, you know, uh, some kind of discount code is coming on and you forget about it. Um, there will be times where your ad account might get banned. You know, there are a lot of things that will not go your way. And again, you will learn so much uh, from it because it's things that you won't necessarily think of before it actually happens, okay? Same goes for me. I literally got every single business manager ad account on Facebook profile banned because I was traveling overseas and I did not use a, a virtual private network to log into my Facebook. So all of the clients were so pissed off because of that because they could not log into their ad account because I was the only one that had access to their ad account. So from there, you know, literally they lost a, a ad account with all the pixel data, etc. And this just happens, okay? Things will not always go your way, but you will learn from it. And now I know I've set up an entire Facebook ecosystem uh, to make sure that that never happens again. You will also build on momentum. So the hardest part of having an agency is getting the first clients. And I wholeheartedly believe that. And quick disclaimer, I have not uh, hit seven figures yet. So obviously I'm only talking from zero to six figures and from multiple to multiple six figures, okay? I have not hit the seven figure mark. So that is an entirely different beast. I do not know what that is like, etc. So I am only speaking about zero to six figures and multiple six figures, okay? And like I said, in my opinion, the hardest part of the entire uh, business model was getting that first client. And as soon as I got that first client, a weight just lifted off my shoulders. And I truly believe that it was possible. From that very first moment that I got that payment through from the first client, I thought, okay, this is possible. It is not a facade. It's not something that only a select few can do. It's not a, some uh, basic business model that only can work in America, etc. I, from that moment onwards, I believed, okay, I'm going to have an agency and it's going to be a success. But prior to that, you do have that doubt in your mind. 
is this actually the right business model for me? Will this actually work? Am I just not listening too much to success stories? You know, is this actually something that the the average guy can do? Because like I said, guys, I'm just an average guy. You know, I'm not special. I'm not. I haven't got a higher IQ than you guys. Um, you know, I'm still lazy. You know, I'm still working on trying to overcome procrastination. I still spend too much time on my phone, etc. There's still so much stuff that I want to do. I still make mistakes every single day. So in order for me to get that first client, that just changed everything for me. And I realized from that moment onwards, yes, it is possible. You will have the highest highs and the lowest lows, which means that yes, you will sign multiple clients in a very short span of time and you will also lose a lot of clients in a short span of time. It's like a domino effect. You know, things will, uh, bad things will happen in like a short period of time and you will doubt yourself and you will basically envy people that have a nine to five job because you know that, at five o'clock, they can switch off and you can't. You are still in the trenches, but you will also have the highest highs where you will be randomly maybe on a plane or you'll be uh, out with friends and you'll just get a random payment for two and a half K. I think, well, you know, I'm, I'm sitting here enjoying myself and I've just earned more money than some of these people will earn an entire month. Okay, so you will have both sides of the spectrum, but that is entrepreneurship uh, at its core. You know, we don't have the safety net. We will have uh, the best days and we will also have the worst days. And in my opinion, that is what makes it so exciting. Okay, so moving on. There we go. I don't know why the sales part came later there. Look at that. Uh, but in terms of systems, which is my second um, biggest piece of advice for those of you that are, are wanting to go from zero to 10K uh, to basically start up this six-figure business. Um, when you look at systems, you will need systems in place, obviously. But when we look at it from a helicopter view, this is all you need four systems and obviously when you look inside client outreach and you look inside sales there are mini systems and uh, standard operation operation procedures etc but this is what it all boils down to these are the four pillars if you will of social media marketing this is all you need to focus on okay so all of the 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 i don't know like the the the, the sleep tracking the aura rings and you know all that lot yes obviously all those little things do add up and will basically uh, get you to be more productive, sleep better, all that lot. But this is all it boils down to, okay? So you can have all the gadgets, all the you can watch all the modules, all the courses, you can follow, everyone's coaching. But if you do not do these four things, then you will not go from zero to 10K. The four things, obviously, client outreach, you will need to be reaching out to businesses to pitch your service. If they are interested, you will need to close them on a deal, sales. From there... You obviously need to keep the client happy. You know, it's basically a mini project uh, for you to make sure that the client is happy, the client's expectations are met, but also set, and you will obviously need to get the results, which is project development, okay? So this is what it all, all boils down to. And like I said, within the pillars, within the systems, you'll have mini systems as well. Uh, as you can see here, we've got prospect and we've got niche research, email outreach, Loom, LinkedIn, organic methods, follow-up, pay traffic, etc. Okay, so what I want you to do in any moment when you are stressed out about your agency, just go back, look at the four pillars and think, okay, what is it exactly that is going wrong? Haven't got a client. Okay, let's look at the front end. How much outreach are we doing? Okay, if, as soon as you have those numbers, how many people are we actually closing? Why are we not closing as many people as we want? Or maybe you're getting the clients in, you get the deals, but they're walking out, walking out through the back door. So you get them all in, but on the, on the back door is open, okay? They're leaving they're, because they're not happy with your service. Then you know, okay, I need to zoom in on project development. Why aren't I getting the results that they want? Or are you getting the results, but you haven't met or set the client's expectations, okay? So if there's an issue with your agency, just look at these four systems, where is the problem? You know, where does the problem lie? And then, like I said, you can zoom in on the pillar. For example, this client outreach. Are you doing enough prospecting? Do you know enough about your niche? Are you reaching out enough via email? Are you sending out looms? What is your LinkedIn strategy like? Do you have organic methods in place? Are you following up enough? Have you considered running paid traffic? And so on and so forth. And then from there, you can look again and say, okay, for example, email outreach. What is my email outreach strategy? What am I doing? And then what you can also look at is, am I doing this myself? Am I the bottleneck of this system or of this uh, you know, automation? Can I optimize this more? Can I automate it altogether? Can I delegate it to someone else? Or can I just flat out eliminate it? 
So if you know, for those of you that are familiar with the 80-20 uh, principle, is that 80% of your results will come from 20% of your input. So if you notice that 80% of your clients are coming through paid traffic, then maybe it's about time to go all in on paid traffic and just eliminate, for example, organic methods or LinkedIn outreach and so on and so forth, okay? So within this pillar, within the systems, look at each individual task and think to yourself, can I optimize it? Can I automate it? Can I delegate it? Or can I just flat out eliminate it? Okay, so moving on, focus. And this is the third and final uh, thing that I think will basically separate those that will go from zero to 10K a month from those that stay at zero, okay? You will need to focus. And I've, I've heard so many stories, as you guys all know, I do have my own education company. I coach individuals on how to actually build their own agency. And I've heard every single excuse under the sun that they're moving out, um, they don't have time, uh, I don't know, if a family member requested or basically um, required their attention, you know, there's so many excuses. Um, I don't have to, uh, literally one, was, one of the excuses that I heard was, um, I don't have Google Chrome. I was like, what? I, 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 so download Google Chrome. Like, literally, that, that was the lamest excuse I ever heard, uh, which made me laugh, actually. But you need to focus on what works, okay? And when starting out, I've literally grayed out project management, project development for this. When starting out, your only focus should be client outreach and client sales. You will never have the perfect uh, results, you know, strategy. You will never get the best results when starting out anyway. But the main goal for you is to reach out to as many businesses as possible and get as many people on a call as possible, okay? You will need to be consistently pitching. And yes, it is scary. Yes, it is something that is intimidating, but you will get better at it over time. So when you are speaking to a potential business owner and you are nervous about it, then just consider that practice for when the real call actually happens. Yes, it is a real call, but just think to yourself, this call is practice for the next call and the next call is when I'm actually going to, you know, uh, close the deal, okay? So every single call that you make is either a closing call or it's practice. You know, it's you sharpening your sword, sharpening your skills for when you actually do need it, okay? So the first few meetings, you just need to get under your belt. Just feel it out, you know, basically dip your toe in and try and figure out, okay, what are the objections? Write them down. How can you overcome those objection, objections in the next, uh, on the next call with the next business owner, etc. okay? So client outreach and sales, and like I said, focus on it. So at the start, you know, again, these are the pillars. Below that, you've got all of the systems and uh, all the tasks you need to focus. So zoom out, look at the four pillars, focus on one thing at a time. So when starting out, focus on client outreach, okay? Try and get as many, reach out to as many businesses as possible. Try and get as many people on a call as possible. Then when you notice you know, you're getting a few clients in, you can shift your focus. So you zoom back out and then zoom into project management and then look at all of the tasks within project management. Who is doing the communication with the client? Uh, can you optimize that communication? Do you need to maybe automate the communication? Uh, can you delegate the communication? Can you eliminate the communication with the client? You know, who's to say that we need to speak to the client? Maybe we can just uh, get them results and then get a VA to send the report. You know, why do we need to communicate with the client? And so on and so forth, okay? So zoom out, look at the four pillars, then zoom right in again and see what you can optimize. Don't try and do everything at once because it's hard to do everything at once, okay? So when you look at your day-to-day -day tasks, um, for example, when I look at my day-to-day -day tasks when I started out, it was literally one hour of client outreach, followed by one hour of doing an online course, followed by one hour of watching YouTube videos from the guy who owns the course, followed by another hour of getting coaching on Facebook ads, etc. Okay, it was scattered. I was all over the place. And what you need to do when starting out is just focus on the client outreach. Try and reach out to as many people as possible for a consistent period of time. Do not break the chain, okay? If you reach out to 10 business owners on Monday, make sure that you reach out to at least 10 business owners on Tuesday and so on and so forth, okay? Do not break the chain. Do not go a day without reaching out to a business owner, okay? So to wrap up this video, all you'll need to succeed with this is work ethic. You will need to put in the work. As I mentioned with my coaching program, everyone is doing well. There are a few people that are head and shoulders above the rest 
and that is because they put in the work they put in the efforts and it's inspiring to see how hard they work and how much effort they put into it um literally if i'm feeling a bit down a bit tired i just think you know these people are putting in the work they have that intrinsic motivation and that being and desire and it literally inspires and motivates me as well to keep at it keep consistent and to keep improving my program as well because if I can help more people that have that pain and desire to reach their goals financially um, or, you know, literally their life goals, then for me, you know, that is a, a day well done. So uh, to wrap up this video, I just want to quickly show you guys another testimonial. I've been doing a few little testimonials here and there in my videos and I've been getting a lot of good feedback on it. Um, and it's obviously a moment for uh, the basically the coaching students to also get their little moment of fame because like I said, they are putting in the work, they are putting in the time and the effort and they are getting great results and uh, you know that obviously deserves to be applauded as well. So this is uh, Jasper who started um, my course. The, he basically purchased the first version of the course as well. So he's an OG um, course member, Lifestyle Design Mastery, the first generation he's been part of that. And then obviously he got his hands on Lifestyle Design Mastery 2.0 as well. And this is what he had to say about it. Hey guys, my name is Jesper. Uh, I live in the Netherlands. I have a social media marketing agency here. And I just wanted to make this video to thank Joshua for making his Lifestyle Design Mastery course. Um, yeah, I cannot compare, compare it to any other course. Um, it's like having a cheat code. In some games you have cheat codes. This course is literally a cheat code for making money online. So he, he literally gave, gives you the steps uh, to make money online. You just have to implement them, take action and put in the work consistently. Yeah, I, I can't thank you enough, but um, he helped me uh, go to 1K revenue profit, not revenue, uh, this month only. Uh, so I just wanted to thank him for that. That's awesome from Jasper there. So as you can see, he gained an extra K a month um, profit with his agency uh, by enrolling in Lifestyle Design Mastery 2.0. And the great thing about this uh, testimonial video is that he says you get the blueprint you literally have everything you need to get started, but you will need to put in the work. And that is the main uh, differentiator from those that go from zero to 10K and from those that uh, stick, you know, or basically stay at uh, zero or maybe get one client here and there, okay? You will need to put in the work, you will need to put in the time, and you will need to put in the effort. And yes, there are a lot of people out there that say it's an overnight thing and it's it's uh, earn money quickly, etc. It is if you if you put in the work, you will earn money quickly, but you will need to put in massive amounts of work and have a sickening work ethic and great things will come. And with that said, I'm going to wrap up this training here. Thanks for watching. If you have any other questions, obviously, you can leave them in the comments down below. Also, guys, leave this video a thumbs up because it really does help this channel grow. But if you'd rather not leave a comment, you can also request access to the free lifestyle design community which is a private facebook group where i'm very active in so if you want to speak to me personally um you can basically request access to this and it's also got a free social media marketing beginner course inside that as well you will get free access to that as well as free access to my uh, playbook my ebook um which usually goes for, uh, I think it's $27 at the moment, uh, but it's free if you request access to this group. So uh, yeah, make sure you check it out because um, like I said, it, you're basically surrounding yourself with like-minded people. And with that said, I am going to wrap up this video here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.